Rich Thomas Weather Network, brought to you by these fine sponsors. Hear Rich's forecast hourly on these Blue Water Broadcasting radio stations. Hey, good morning, everybody. On this Tuesday morning, it is the 24th day of October and 51 degrees as I make this a couple of hours before dawn and still going down. And I think the coldest air is yet to come. In fact, uh, we'll show you a couple of cold mornings uh, tomorrow morning and Thursday morning. And hang on, cold weather fans. You've come to the right place today because we're going to talk about a, a strong cold front that arrives this weekend with a very impressive air back behind it. In fact, um, well, I think we're going to be in the 30s before this month is over, and that fireplace over there is going to have some wood burned in it this weekend. Let's talk about what's going on. You see that blue line around Memphis? Yeah, that's a reinforcing cool front that'll sweep into the state today, ensuring a cold night tonight and a breezy cool day on Wednesday. Today is going to be a cool day for fall with high temperatures barely into the low 70s and a chilly night tonight and a brisk wind out of the northwest at 12 to 18 miles per hour will make that 71 seem cooler. Tonight's low down to about 42, so that'll be the coldest night of the season so far. And I think we're only in the 60s for a high tomorrow, uh, so we haven't seen a fall day quite like that yet and a brisk wind again, and I think by Thursday morning we're teetering very close to the 40-degree mark, even down into South Alabama, maybe even a couple of upper 30s there in East Central Alabama, and then after that cold start on Thursday morning, I think we warm up Thursday afternoon back into the low, uh, thurs, uh, low 70s, into the mid-70s Friday. There's a front approaching up to the northwest of us Friday, but I think we're dry, and we're watching that Friday forecast very carefully because it's the starting day of the Alabama National Fair, and I think it's going to be a great opening day and a great opening evening. Now, as we look at the second day of the fair, some scattered showers are a good bet as the strong cold front moves into the area. So uh, we'll be watching the timing of that. Will it be morning, afternoon, or evening? Right now, it looks like sometime, uh, let's say late afternoon or evening, when the front actually moves through. Uh, and uh, scattered showers are a good bit out ahead of it. Then breezy on Sunday, the coolest air yet. In fact, we may not even make it out of the 60s. We may have high, uh, make, make it out of the 50s, I should say. So here we go. Mid-60s tomorrow, near 40 on Thursday morning with an afternoon high in the low 70s. We're in the mid-70s Friday. I think we're in the upper 60s with scattered showers, a good bet Saturday. And then maybe only upper 50s for a high Sunday after a morning low of 40. And look at this trough. Whoa. The cold air will be flooding in Sunday, Sunday night into Monday. Uh, with this uh, next system, and I think we'll be in the mid-30s perhaps by Monday morning. Let's say mid to upper 30s, uh, you see 36, 35, 36. And the Climate Prediction Center is bullish on this cold. The coldest air of the season so far to end the month of October and take us into Halloween. So we're looking at uh, mid-60s tomorrow. Again, Sunday we may not make it out of the 60s, uh, the 50s, I should say, and then into the 30s on Monday morning as we turn sharply colder. The uh, GFS model is actually even colder. It takes us into the low 30s. I think that's a little extreme, and so its numbers are a little bit out there. But notice how we warm up again the following week back into the 70s. We have 93L out there in the Western Caribbean. We've been uh, watching that area for a while, right, you and I? And uh, now there's a 50% chance of development out there in the Western Caribbean. Caribbean. The system is very disorganized right now, but it looks like it'll get its act together. And where would it head? Well, not towards us. I think it would have to be picked up by that front, which would take it across Cuba and into Florida and then along the southeastern U.S. coastline. Could it develop into some, uh, something? It sure could. So we'll continue to watch it. We're not done with hurricane season yet. I'll be speaking to the Kiwanis Club uh, at uh, lunchtime today uh, about the official forecast for the fair coming up. We do that every year, and uh, I think the news is pretty good. Uh, on the whole, uh, some nice, cool, fair weather is uh, in the forecast, is in the cards. I think it's going to be a good one. Well, we'll be live on the radio this morning from 6 to 9 on News Talk 93.1. Greg and Emily are back. Yay. And uh, your forecast across the dial whenever you want it on eight radio stations, the Blue Water family of stations, and another video for you tomorrow morning at 445 a.m. as we update this cold weather on the way. I'll see you later. Have a good day. Rich Thomas Weather.